Hello everybody, welcome back. It's of course another episode of Sport Federation TV where we keep taking a look at sport in the province. And uh, for those of you that have joined us for the first time, this is of course the show that looks after the federations and the districts in the, the Western Cape. So it's of course here on Cape Town TV, DSTV channel 263 every Friday from 9 o'clock through to um, 10 p.m. And don't forget of course I repeat every Saturday morning from um, uh, 8 a.m. through to 9 a.m. So if this is your first time for joining us and you might uh, by accidentally have missed the show don't forget you can of course catch all our reruns on youtube just go and have a look for our youtube channel of sport federation tv well as you know one of the big sports in south africa and also on a global level uh, a sport that's of course close to my heart is a karate karate western cape is an active uh, sport code they've been doing really well and delivering fantastic champions and you will of course remember it wasn't so long ago that we had western cape coach troy fatter on the line with us but now we bring us uh, one of the uh, champions of karate in the Western Cape, Maxine Willems. Uh, Maxine, welcome to Sport Federation TV. How are you? Morning, JP. I'm well, thank you. And yourself? Uh, Maxine, right, be before we talk about your tremendous track record, and of course we know that you've recently been um, overseas, uh, we have to ask the question, how did you get started with karate? When was the first time for you and how did, get, how did you get involved? Okay, so at the time I was in grade 3. Um, I was doing volleyball, netball, and rollerblading, and I was in the choir doing ballet. I was doing a lot of sports at the time. And one day, I think it was on a Tuesday, um, I went to the karate class. I joined the karate class and everything started from there after my first competition and then I decided no I need to leave all the other sports this is what I want to do and I made up my mind and that's how my karate journey started after my first medal and, and just to, just tell us your style of karate uh, or, or as you know it, as you guys know it in the world of karate of course you do different styles what type of style do you do I do shipping you I start in shipping you and then from there, you connect that into sport karate, which is, of course, maybe give us an explanation of how that works, the, the comp competition side of things. Okay, so in terms of the competition side uh, of things when it comes to our style and everything, so each style has its own um, set of cutters. And according to your style, I'm not, yes, according to your style, um, I'll do like Shito Ryu Katas, that's according to my style. And if you are Goju, you do Goju Kata, Shotokan, Shotokan Katas, that is when it comes to sport karate, right. basically. And these Katas are of course a, a, a practice set of movements that you have to do in terms of sound and timing. Um, how do you become yes, good? And, and they're, of course, a demonstration, really, of how the fighting technique works in sequence. Yes, so how you become good at this is you're going to train a million times and a million times and a million times, like over and over, just to perfect it because kata is like you, you, you're sitting there and you're telling this beautiful story with your power, the energy, that fight that is within you, that's coming out of you. And you want to display the story and it's like it's like reading a book and the book comes to an end but you want to you, you want to read more but you just can't so that is my understanding when it comes to cut it's just that passion and that energy that's inside of you that you bring out your personality onto the competition floor it's a fantastic explanation i love the way that you've just told that story what so what is your speciality Kata or the the fighting itself? The kata because it just brings out that fire and that passion and that drive and that fight inside of you when you're on the floor. That, that's my speciality. Maxine, of course, one of the big events that you now recently had was the the trip to Paris um, to give it a shot to make it into the Olympics. That, Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, that's a massive, massive competition and with an enormous goal. And of course, everybody is trying to qualify for the Olympics. Big opportunity for you. Yes. So apart from doing all the international competitions um, according to WKX rules, this was our only shot 
um, to win the Olympic qualification competition. Yes, it was tough. We were there were 500 athletes. There were 96 countries. So imagine three out of your division only qualified for that competition. But apart from just being there, it was a massive achievement because it was the first time in history that karate has ever made it to the Olympics. And for, for the four or the three of us that were there, apart from the other two that never went, it was a massive achievement just being there, being able to compete against the best of the best in the world. So to me, it, just being there, it, it took a lot out of me, a lot of cuts and bravery to stand there and to know that I'm the best in my country and yeah, I'm competing against the best of the best in the world. And yes, even though I might have not made it, it's fine. The fact is I was there and that was a moment and experience that I can never, I can never um, speak about or dream of, but it was actually a reality for me. And Maxine, so, so of course, um, uh, it took a bit of traveling to be able to get to the point where you could qualify as a South African athlete to go and compete in Paris with the hope of getting to the Olympics. Tell us about the journey of qualification. We know that you recently had um, SA championships, I think, in KZN and also um, in Gauteng. Um, but of course, it starts at ground level where you're competing first in a, in a district level, at a provincial level. What was that route that you had to travel, um, starting off in Cape Town to eventually to Paris? I mean, it's quite a number of competitions that you have to win along the way. Yes, so um, to be honest, my journey actually started as a senior competitor in 2014. I was very young at that time and it's just okay competing. But apart from that, it all started it all started on a university level. Um, from university, go to Western Cape, make the Western Cape team, I go to the South African Championships. From there, if I place first, second, third, or fourth, depending and depending on the selection criteria, and if I'm selected, from there I go to the Continental Championships, to back, and from there, um, whichever follows all the competitions that they, um, Karate South Africa then selects it for us as athletes to compete at. So it's quite a long journey, or it has been a long journey since 2014. I've been been doing many competitions on a continental level in order to reach this qualification tournament because it's not everyone that could go and compete at the Paris in Paris for the Olympic qualification yeah. tournament. You needed to be in the top 100 Olympic standing in order to have competed on there. And through my continental rankings and medals, it has granted me the opportunity to actually participate at the Olympic qualification tournament in Paris. What comes next for you now, Maxine? I mean, um, the way the, when we speak to karate people, it's not a once-off thing. Karate is a way of life. It's something that you do probably for 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 for, uh, for most of your life. We don't ever see karate people hanging up their boots. They keep their belts forever. What comes next for you? I mean, you got okay, still an so enormous amount of competitions left to go. Yes, I do. So since I came back from Paris. I'm still, I haven't taken a break. I'm starting or I've, I'm busy preparing for the elites, but that's just like a speed bump I need to get over. Yeah. But my ultimate goal or challenge that I'm working to is the UPAC, um, the Continental Championships, which is taking place in Egypt um, in December this year. So that is what I'm working towards now already. And in this competitions in between like the leagues and the leagues that I need to compete at in order to win, in order to be selected for Egypt. So that is the numbers I'm preparing for now at the moment. Um, Maxine, so in, congratulations again on, on all of your achievements. Uh, we look forward to, to following your progress. Um, I'm sure that there's many uh, young athletes that are out there that are saying they want to be just like you and they want to put on a black belt and they want to compete at the highest level and so it's been fantastic chatting with you we look forward to you. following your progress and uh, hopefully lots of more medals for 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 the for for you and the western cape 
Thank you, JP. Thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you, eh? Here we go, folks. Maxine Willems, a Western Cape Karate Champion, South African Karate Champion, Olympic contender. Wow. Uh, fantastic stuff then from Karate South Africa, Western Cape Karate, and of course, Karate in Cape Town. And that's really great to see our athletes coming th through the ranks, staying in the ranks and going to at a, competing at a world level. It really is amazing stuff. Folks, we'll take an ad break. When we come back from the break, we carry on taking a look at Sport in the Province. Back in a sec.